Hey Cheryl, I'm back again. I'm about to do Amy Warden's Soap Challenge, element, week two, Elemental Swirl. Um, I just wanted to show this to you first before I get there because I know I had people ask um, for a couple things. So um, a while back I posted a video showing you me using the um, vanilla stabilizer and it's been a couple months since these soaps have cured and I just want to show you that they haven't darkened. Um, they did this color, but they didn't go dark brown. So this one here is pink sugar. The top did go a little bit yellow. I don't know if you can catch in this light. But I think with titanium dioxide, you can get a fairly white bar. Now there's nothing in here, just the pink sugar and the vanilla white stabilizer. And this has been curing for several months. As you can hear, it's quite hard. So I think it works. Um, I haven't lather tested to see if it changes the color, but, and this one is Madagascan vanilla, I believe it was, or Tahitian vanilla, one of the two. And this didn't really turn that yellow color, just maybe slightly. But I think if you use titanium dioxide, you can get a nice white bar. And those were the um, vanilla stabilizer tests. So I will definitely be trying that in a bar soap that I have in my head. And as we know, pink sugar gets very, 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 very dark. Um, so I have a little bit of bad news. Um, the soaps I was doing for the wedding, um, her mother decided that she didn't want her to do soaps because of fear that culturally people will think that. Anyway, whatever. So I won't get into too much into that, but she decided not to go with the soaps. So I'm going to probably sell this at the farmer's market that I am uh, applied to. I just have to see I have the exact way. These are still curing. But this is what they look like inside, and I realize on camera, I don't think you can see the mica line, but there's a gold mica line along here. And I colored this with the um, uh, cocoa powder. And you can't really see it on camera, that one. And that's the top, I did get some ash. But I sprinkled some gold glitter. And this one is the Selene Blue and a blend that I made myself, a turquoise. And as you can see, the Titanium dioxide did crackle, and you can see the mica lines better on this one. And the ash and the gold. I think this is really pretty. So what I might do is package these in sets of two or something and sell them at the farmer's market. So this one was, oops, sorry, tangerine, and this one was um, black raspberry vanilla. And I have a few of those, so I will be packaging those up. All right, so my Elemental Swirl, I'm doing a blend of essential oils. Um, now, as you can probably see this here, that's my essential oils, it's quite orange. So I'm gonna combat it with a little bit of titanium dioxide, hopefully it works. Um, and I already have my color separated out, so I don't wanna mess with it. My lye water is a little bit warmer than I would like, but I do have silk and um, sodium lactate in here. Oops for too quickly. Tons of bubbles. And thank you everyone for all your kind comments about my last one. I love those colors too. In fact, they even got brighter. Um, I used strong, fluorescent strong pink and neon orange from TKB Trading and titanium dioxide for that one. Absolutely love it. And I'm using some of those colors again. So this is a blend. I'm calling this orange lavender and I'm actually going to do two pounds with this just because I figured this might be a good scent to take to the farmer's market. Okay, turn down your volume guys. Oops, clearly I didn't put that together properly. There, that's better. I'm going to add my super fats. I'm going to 
add my titanium dioxide just a little bit just to lighten the colors a bit. now to make it a little easier. Just so orange. That's just barely just emulsified, so I have more time to work with my colors. I think I'm going to split this in half first. Don't want to make too much. Trying to combat some of the yellow from the essential oils. I'm going to make this a little lighter. It's yellow oxide here. colors out a bit more. I'm adding a lot of titanium dioxide to combat out the orange from the, the uh, essential oil. No matter what 
I do, it's going to be still quite orangey. Okay, don't want to spend any more time blending that because I don't want it to get too thick. I do have um, sodium lactate in here, and I don't, I don't want that to speed up the trays. Oops, sorry guys. It's my cell phone. I'm a bit behind on the uh, soap challenge because I had to work. So it was the first free day that I had. Oops, I think it's sliding here. Oh, I guess this one's setting up a little bit on me. Ultramarine blue. Some activated charcoal. And some ultramarine violet. faster so I'm going to add a little bit into the purple a little bit into the blue because I want them a little lighter I can feel the heat coming from this and believe it or not I'm going to add a little bit to the Activate charcoal because I'm going to make it a little bit more gray. I think it's going to start to start black. Okay. like a lot but there's a big chunk of undissolved titanium dioxide in there so it's watered down but I have to come back that orange from that essential oil I don't think it's going to get much lighter than this so I'm going to have to settle going to be more of a creamy color but it's not bad all right so for the elemental swirl I need to start by adding my colors a little bit for the top These are doing okay. All right, so then you take your spatula and go around through the middle. Ooh. That looks like it's going to be pretty. All right. Hopefully you guys can see. 
Oh, this looks pretty, guys. I don't think I mentioned the scent, but this is an uh, orange and lavender blend. I used lavender, sweet dark orange, and sweet orange. I find for me, I prefer lavender when it's blended with something else. If it's straight up lavender, I like it, but not as much as if it was blended. My um, oatmeal, lavender, oatmeal, lavender, and honey is very nice. I love that. My lemon lavender, which I have no more of, sold out um, a while ago. I haven't made any more. I made that last year. That sold out. That's a nice scent. So maybe I should make lemon lavender again. Okay, so now I'm going to do a gold micro one. You guys probably can't see because of my camera angle. Need a little tiny bit more, not too much. Try not to do too much so I don't have any separation, but I want enough so that it's visible. Just a tiny bit more in that corner there. just to clean this up. Okay, I'm going to move this aside. I think it needs to set up some Otherwise, I'm going to have breakthrough, so I might pause and come back. This is still fluid enough. There's a piece of glue okay. or something in there. I'm going to pause the video. This is still fluid enough that I can still work with it. But my other layer I need to set up. So I will come back when that's set up. So I'll be right back. Hi everybody, it's me, Cheryl. I'm back um, and I'm to cut the week two uh, challenge, the elemental swirl. My soap is kind of soft. 
but I'm going to cut it anyway. I have to work the next little bit and we'll have time. So that's the top. You can see the, the swirls. And I can tell that the titanium dioxide has crackled just by looking at it. Um, I took this out earlier and let it sit on the countertop for a little bit, but it's still soft. So we'll see what happens. So that's the soap there. Well, that side's kind of cool. You can see the gold mica line if you look at it very closely. Mmm. Smells good. Crackling isn't too bad. In some areas, there's crackling from the titanium dioxide, but it's not too bad. That's that side, the other side. It's different. Oh, there's a little bit of a, uh, it's like essential oil seeping. And the crackling isn't too bad. I'm just looking at it closer. It did gel. I can see the gel ring. It's darker in the middle. So I thought that one's pretty. It's like most of the color got in the middle. Hmm. And more of the color ended up on the bottom for the orange. It's very different. Different to what I'm used to. You can't really see the difference between between the la between the pink and the orange and the yellow too much. But maybe as it cures, it will come out a bit better. But I like the bottom swirl. It came out really nice. There's not too much purple in there that you can see. Yeah, but you can really see the gel ring right there. It's hard to see in camera, I'm sure. I don't even know if I'm getting this on screen. Sorry, guys. I'm just looking at this so mesmerized. That one's nice. This one got a little bit more of the pink. Mmm. Smells good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars. Well, that one's pretty. I like that one because it's got more of the pink in there. The orange should lighten up quite a bit. It was quite a bit darker in my mold, in my, when I mixed it. Mm. Okay, so it's a sample there. Oh, that's a sample that has more purple in it. And I can cut this one probably into two. Oh, this end looks nice. It's very soft. All right, guys, so let me move this out of the way. I'll turn it this way so y'all can see. I'm trying to move my laptop so you can see a bit better. So I'll turn some of these out. So I think it looks quite nice. It's very different to what I'm used to, but I kind of like it. So that's my elemental swirl. So I'm going to be doing two batches of soap tonight because I go back to work tomorrow. And I'm going to be doing the 
week three, which is the mica swirl, I think it's called the mica swirl challenge. And I wasn't going to do it, but then I got the micas in the mail yesterday from Coastal Scents. And I'll do a little mini haul on that. And I'll attach it to the other video. But that's pretty. Two, four, six, yeah, eight bars. That's interesting. My one and a half pound loaf, I can get seven bars. And my two pound loaf, I can get eight. I guess because of the dimensions. I don't know. I haven't cut the two pound loaf mold yet um, until today. So the first time with the soap cutter. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to try and post these on my um, art fire account once I have time to take pictures. Um, cause I think I'm going to sell these. Well, maybe I'll just sell them at the farmer's market. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye.